Okay, just a quick update. I fixed my problem, so I'm very happy. Uh, over here, the simulation constraints, so every customer will be created one millisecond. And, yep. And this will show me every 10th customer that has entered the store. So I, my screen is not going to be cluttered like yesterday. And, um, yeah. And the shopper, so this, there's going to be multiple instances of the shop floor. Which I'm thinking is going to be a bad thing in the future, but right now, you know, just for testing purposes, it is all right. I'm just going to get on with it and show you the simulation. So waiting, waiting. So each product is going to take two seconds to pick up. Okay, shopper one, how many seconds? It took him 10 seconds to pick up this many items. This took uh, customer 15, two seconds to pick up this item. This is drastic, you know, in comparison, it's not like an order. So customer one, shopper one, <coughs> shopper two, shopper three, you know, it's shopper one, shopper six, shopper 15, shopper 11, shopper seven. And it is going on a curve like this, which is definitely a big bonus. Yeah, I was saying yesterday I wanted something curved like this, depending on the items. So the, the shorter items, you know, it's going to be up top, you know, slightly longer item, you know, it's going to take more while, more, more, more. So as you can see, there are 60 customers so far, probably now 70 customers so far. Let's see the result, the customer 45, you know, he got through right now because it took him, I don't know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. More like 20 seconds or more just to complete it, and wow, going very iterating very fast because the customers are you know coming every one millisecond. And look at here, the customer 88 just arrived and he's already in the queue because he only took carrots. Mm. Customer 58, he was like here ages ago, but it took him probably like over 20 seconds just to get his uh, basket full and get to the checkout. Yep, it was very beautiful.